Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to Pokemon. Today we're gonna do something that I am not really looking forward to do, but I'm dead set on doing. So I, from the very start of this series, I kind of had my team planned out, to some extent, at least. And the one Pokemon I really planned around a lot for was um, getting a Melodic on my team. If you, um, haven't, if you don't know, like, just for the sake of conversation at least, if you don't know what a Melodic, how to get a Melodic, it's kind of like a um, Magikarp Gyarados situation where you have, you catch a Phoebus, which is like on its own pretty much a useless Pokemon, and then it's just really meant to be evolved into a Melodic. In the original game, catching a Phoebus is like insanely hard. It's like, there's some route where you surf on and there's like, six tiles you have to fish on, randomly chosen out of the whole map. In this hack, they um, nerfed it a lot. There's like... It's um, now there's this... It's a, they moved it to a different pond here and it's just like... I think you have a 20% chance of... Yeah, 20% chance is the best odds I can get at catching one. Just by fishing. But that's not enough to catch it to you, like, that's... 20% odds alone is kind of like... It's gonna probably might take a while, but the thing is... To evolve a Phoebus... It's not like Magikarp where you get it to like level 15 or whatever. You actually, um... So... It's gonna be kind of hard to talk about without having done like... Um, contests in that first, but... There's different, like, stats Pokemon has, like... Different way. I don't think it'll show them, but there's, like, beauty, cool, tough, and all that. And they all correspond to different flavors of Pokeblocks, which is something we're gonna be making... Eventually, I'm just gonna save right here. And so... We need... To evolve Phoebus, you need to max out its, um, beauty stat. And so we needed. The thing is, like. The nature that a Pokemon has. Is, um. Oh, yeah, this is gonna take a long time. The nature that a Pokemon has, it boosts its sensitivity to certain stats and. lowers it to others, so. There's five different ones it can have, right? And so we need one, and then it boosts one random. Sorry, I'm explaining this really badly because I'm kind of distracted, but... There's 25 different natures they can have. Each one boosts a random stat and lowers another one. So we need it to both boost, um beauty and lower something other than beauty, so... You got a 1 in 5 chance of the nature boosting beauty, and a 4 in 5 chance of lowering something other than beauty, because otherwise it'll just cancel out. So, of that 1 in 5 chance of finding a Phoebus, like this, the Phoebus now has a 4 in 25 chance of being the right nature. And I won't be able to tell until... We actually, um, catch it. So I have to go through the process of catching it. I don't know what their catch rate is. Maybe I'll need to lower this, weaken it a bit. Maybe not. Okay. So this might... We might have just caught a Phoebus and that would be the end of it. We might be here for an hour. I don't know. I'm going to come up with a name... For it too. <laughs> Sorry, I got, I'm gonna need it at the same time. I've, same thing every time, but. Sure. So now we caught it. If we catch it in a reasonable amount of time. 
catch a viable one in a reasonable amount of time. I'm gonna go ahead and, um... We'll start making Pokeblocks in... and go through that, but... First we gotta check, and since I don't want to have, like, 20 Phoebuses in my party, I'm going to... in my box, I'm gonna... reset if it's not valid? Alright, what's your nature, buddy? Timid. Nope. Alright, so now we get to do all that again, so... Like I said, it's a 4 in 25 chance, which will take us on average, like... Six or seven, I'm gonna register my rod and save again. So, this might end up being like a grinding video. Like, like I know with my older playthroughs I used to have um, videos where I would like... Be just grinding for Pokemon or whatever for like an hour or two. This might be that kind of situation here. Now let's see if I got lucky the first time, or if I can... Because... I'm... If I zap it, of course, it's immediately gonna die. Maybe a quick attack might not kill it? But I mean, if it's gonna let us catch it every time, it doesn't matter. I'll come with a different name every time. I don't know. Maybe I'll, I don't know what I'll do for names. But yeah. Uh, we're just kind of gonna. We're just gonna kind of go through the motions here, so. I might. Depending on how long it takes, let me just edit to where I get it. I might, um... Or I might just leave, like, a video that's like an hour long that... ...doesn't catch it. Brave. Alright, perfect. We need modest, mild, rash, or quiet for the... ...for reference. So yeah, I'm going to now watch some videos while I'm doing this so I don't get bored to death. Oh, alright, well, uh, we got one. It took... It's been 10 minutes recording, we got one. But, you know, I'll take it. They really are just kind of disgusting looking, aren't they? So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna save right now so we don't have to redo all that. Now this next part I am also very worried about, I guess... First thing, I'm gonna go collect some berries. I'll sh you know what, we'll do it on camera because like... At the very least, I think that should be something to show off. But this guy doesn't get us a berry we need, but... I mean, we might as well, while we're collecting berries, he's right here. You can just take one. Let's put my bike back. My selected spot, since we're not going to be fishing again for a while. Probably was a bad idea biking through this grass, but whatever. Okay, now this lady... She gives us a berry determined by our trainer ID. The wiki is good for beauty. So, you, like, that's what I grinded at the start for. You have to have a Poké ID that ends... Your trainer ID in the top right corner there has to end in a 1 or a 6. We haven't shown this off before. And then there's one more um, to get. The easiest way I've found to get there is to go to Mauville. And 
and then we got a surf, right? I've done this every day at the end of the videos for like a few days. I probably, I don't know, like since I first encountered the areas that I can find each of these berries, I've been doing this. And all right, now this one is random. So we have to put a save state down. Or, I mean, you can just save and reload, but that's work. Grappa, so we need a Ricky, Kelpsy, or Hondu. I think a Cornberry will, will also work, but I'm not fully sure. So I haven't been gathering them. Because the one guide I read didn't mention them, so I've been kind of like... I don't know. But yeah, so we're just gonna keep doing this for a while until we get... A dry berry, because dryness promotes beauty, apparently. And yeah, um... Phoebus itself doesn't learn any useful moves. So, like, you're really best off just evolving your Phoebus as soon as you can. Pomeg! This is, like, unusually bad luck, I think, for this. Like, it normally doesn't take this long to get what we need. Okay, Kelpsy, that'll work. It's too much work to try to, I think, to get both berries when you need. And this, it's not going to be a useful one, but it's like, we're right here anyways, right? So I'm just going to go Joker mode on this lady. Yeah. And she gives me a citrus berry. It's, that's cool, I guess. Alright, so now we go back to Lily Cove. And I guess I can edit the early part to be short. I mean, this is probably going to be a longer video anyways, so... Now for this, um, for the... I guess, hang on. For the um, berry poke block making section, I don't know exactly how good I need to be at it, so I'm gonna save state it just in case. Yeah. Sorry, Avisem. Avisem might be off, might be like retiring here. We'll have to try to melodic first, and I mean, we'll have to. His line's gonna have have a while to catch up, but. Here we go, so now we get to explore this today. We'll talk to everyone. Yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing in a bit. And I'll bring, I guess. Uh, no, I don't. Um. We are gonna be doing contests too. I might, I'll have to double check my Phoebus guides, but yeah, I think we wanted to be doing the four person one. Yes, I will take that, thank you. Um, I do, but not right now. That is for connections, I don't have any. I don't even know, I know you can hook them up with this, but I don't know how. So we need, it says here, 12 Pokeblocks all above level 23. Because once we give Islam the experience share, it can evolve immediately. So I'm going to save state here. I would... I don't... <laughs> okay. It's just a mini game that I am not very good at. 
Now to start, since we're just learning, we're gonna use one that isn't gonna make a barrier we need. Poke block we need, even though we safe stated. So you can check the tag. This one's spicy, so it's not what we need, but we will use one just for a demo. And they all there's an algorithm to make sure they all give you good um Berries too. So we get to do this like at least 12 times. And as you can tell, I am not great at this. Well, let's see how we did. Oh, I did, uh. I did really bad. So, level is 11. Is that good enough? No. So yeah, I'm just going to be doing this now for like a few hours, probably. I'll show off the good ones, but I'm just going to like... We have that save state, so I'm just going to grind until I'm good at this game. And we'll go from there. Alright, so I'm not doing a whole lot better, I think I'm doing good enough here. Before we reset, I want to look in my Pokeblock keys. Okay, I think it's more what kind of berries you're using than like... Necessarily how good you are at the game. So we need, um... 12 below 23, so wiki, kelpsy, 5 wiki, 15 kelpsy, so there should be 20. The Hondu. And we got 5 of those. Okay, so we have our safe state here, so I sure do. I'm going to go through, I'm going to use all of all of these berries. Because, I mean, we only need one, um, Phoebus to evolve, right? So we can just cook them all up in one batch. And hopefully this will work. I feel like that was one of my better runs here. Okay, level 23, that's good enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and use another save state. And we'll keep going until we get all of them at that level. That run I did good. I, I should leave that in the video, just making it out to myself. Because the fuel is still level 23. I mean, that's good enough, right? Okay, yeah, I'm getting better at this, I think. All of a sudden I got, I'm doing a lot better. Maybe better berries, like, give you better, um... Give you, like, a wider window to hit it, but I don't know. I am I just like to think I'm really good at this game and just, you know?
Well, I'm getting better at it. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend up all these berries and then like... We'll feed, um, the best Pokeblocks to my Phoebus, I guess. Pondus, and then we didn't get any Curies, did we? I didn't get any Curies or Karma Pond Tree. So this this will be our last uh, five, and then we can look things over. All right, here we go, last uh, Poke Block. Let's make it together. I'm definitely getting more comfortable with the timing, but. It's also like there's only so much control you have over it. I wonder what algorithm they use to like determine how well the other players do when you're doing this. Cause like there's always one person that does really well and one person that does like really bad in that. Like you see. All right. So let's see if I got enough um, done here. I'm gonna stand in the corner here, look at my Pokeblock block key. So we now have a ton of Poke blocks, all of which are level 23. And so it says if you feed 12 Poke blocks, at least 23. Should be good. So now I get to use this. Yep. Yeah. I don't know what that sparkle means, but. So one. We get to see this animation here. Six. Oh, it didn't like that one as much. I... That one was tough, so. Hopefully this still works, number seven here. I think that's 12? Yeah, because beauty isn't even enhancing anymore. So now, uh, and Seth has the XP share, we'll give it to Islan, Iselm, whatever your name is. I should put this some of this stuff in the PC too. And we'll go, um... We'll go beat up some random uh, wild Pokemon. Cause, like, how much... How much EXP does this cell need to level up? 781, so... We'll go grind until we get a level. Hopefully it shouldn't be too much. Well, I guess we'll talk to people here again to see if that's how we get rematches. Yeah, okay. We can fight this lady again. Hopefully she'll give us enough, enough EXP points to... EXP points, yes. Perfect to level up. Because grinding against wild Pokemon is gonna be weirdly slow despite... What do you think? Like, see, that itself wasn't enough to level up. I think once we kick this thing to death... Great. Then we will get our evolution, I think. Beautiful. Great. Oh, this is going good. 
I wonder if Yan and Zeth can like... Being a ghost type would probably... Oh, of course you're gonna be a punk. We should be able to dodge all of its attacks. Oh, and it dodges all my attacks. We'll go wisp it. Just for the sake of it, I guess. Alright, well, this was a lot slower than it should have been, but... We, d we made it somehow. At the very least, yeah, Xeth is definitely gonna evolve, I think. Faint attack, that's good. Yes. Is that better than Nightshade? Like, Spite, I think... Spite seems like it could be good for, like... Doing some hacksy stuff that Yannick Zeth seems like it's gonna be good at, but I think that's a bit too much. No, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I. Yeah, I think Spite is a bit too niche. Maybe that was a mistake. I think Yannick Zeth will evolve now too, and hopefully a Selm better evolve. Alright, let's watch. First off, this is really good, I'm a big fan of this here. My one concern with not teaching Yannick Zeth, not getting rid of Fain Attack, is I... Thinking attack-wise, I don't want to exist some like niche to be taken out by my Ma Mawile, because Mawile is my main like dark type attacker. But yeah, look at this. Helping hand. We're not gonna learn helping hand, but I wanna show it off. That's only good for double battles. Thank god. Okay. <laughs> After this we can call it an episode. Oh yeah, yeah, this took like an hour. <laughs> like, as little as what we see, it seems like we did, this took... Oh, this took so long, dude. But look at that, I mean, like, we're, we're both seeing this, right? And then, uh, in the future we get to train up a Psalm and... Get her to catch up, so that's cool. Look forward to that. We can finally call an episode. We'll probably do this as like a one episode video. <sighs> Tomorrow I'll record an episode of Pathologic and make that super long and we'll record and we'll put that up first. And yeah. Alright, thank you for watching. Look at how much in game time has passed. Too. Put all my saves down. Look at this. How do you define suffering? It seems like a move that's a bit too. Uh, that seems a bit too philosophical. <sighs> Man, this, it's literally like I'm looking at my recording time right now. It's been 55 minutes. Just straight up.